know what time is. It and that is the truth about time. About time. Number one, it doesn't wait for you. And can it has no respect for any man. When we wake up in the morning, it has started its work. As to whether you go to work or you go to school or you stay home, the time doesn't matter at all. All God has assigned time to do is to run 24 hours a day. So when you wake up, don't expect time to wait for you. Number two, I said time. Prioritize your priorities. If everyone has a purpose to fulfill on earth. So when you wake up in the morning, it is also a bad. What's your time? What you do with your time? Determines where you are going in future. What you do in, in with your time determines what is important to you. What you do with your time determines what is essential for you in life. So ask your neighbor once again. What are you doing with your time? Now I said that a brother or a sister. We we'll simply say I don't have time. That is why I didn't come to school today. That is why I didn't go to work today. That is why I didn't come to church today. But each and every one of you have the same 24 hours. Amen. Amen. One great man of God says, he once tried to witness to a certain great businessman who was running after a, 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 many companies. But always when he approached this man, his excuses in this one. Excuse me, man. Says, you know I am a manager of this company. I don't have a time at all to attend to church meetings. And one day, this man who does not have time embark on his regular check-up. When he go to the hospital, the doctor declared that he's is now having cancer. And he need time to treat that cancer. From that time onward, he ceased from his assignment. From running all his companies, he appointed someone to run his companies. And he went back to the doctor and said, Doctor, Okay, so what can I do to cure this cancer? Yeah, the doctor told him, doctor, every morning you need to come for checkup. Yeah, yeah, so okay. check Even as well. And you so, so he has been attending this, this checkup yeah, yeah, for yeah. almost two weeks. two weeks. And the doctor told him, yeah, the doctor told him this kind of sickness yeah, yeah, yeah. cannot be cured by any medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I would advise you to see a yeah. pastor. Yeah. At this yeah. point of time, the man went to the man who went to witness Christ to him. I found the manager. He said, What of God? Some years back, he tried witnessing to me about Christ. But I was not having time. time. Not but time. now I've had time. He said, Never what you were telling me about. Amen. What is the secret here? Amen. Amen. Facing death has the power to alter your priorities. The moment he had death, he began to have time to go to the world, hospital. And when the doctor failed to cure the cancer, so to he had time for God. He had time for God. Ladies and gentlemen, that could simply tell you that everyone controls his or her own time. And we use that time to serve our priorities. We use that time to do what is important to us. At first, the man thought his business was so important to him. But when he realized that his his life is more important than all his business. And yes, he was at the edge of death. That's what now we do. We began to have time. For his head. So I pray that each and every one here we have time for God. Most of the time we don't have time for God. Because we think our business and our schooling is so essential to us. And the one who created us. He 